Hi everyone, in this video I will be demonstrating some of the features of NetBackup powered by CloudScale technology. First, let's look at the data protection feature, which is basically backup and recovery. The first step in backing up VM instances in the cloud is to add a protection plan on the NetBackup web UI. In this example, I'll be creating a plan named CPlan and indicating the cloud workload and provider as Microsoft Azure. The next step is to add a schedule and specify the attributes, such as how often to take the backups, the retention period, and backup type, and then indicate the start window of the backup. In the next screen, you specify the target backup storage, and then the backup options such as granular recovery or exclude selected disks. In this example, we will enable granular recovery for files or folders. You can choose to add roles you want to have access to this protection plan. Review the plan and click Finish. Now we are ready to select an Azure VM instance to backup now and select the previously created plan to use to protect the instance. Click Start Backup. Go to the Activity Monitor to monitor the backup. You will first observe a snapshot followed by a backup from that snapshot. After the backup has completed, I will now demonstrate a recovery of that VM instance. Select the VM instance and go to the Recovery Point tab and select either to restore from the snapshot or from backup storage. From the snapshot copy, one can either restore the virtual machine, do a rollback restore, restore from files and folders, or restore volumes. From the backup copy, you can either choose to restore the virtual machine or restore files and folders. In this example, we're going to restore a virtual machine. After I have chosen to restore from backup storage, I will then provide a new name for the restored VM instance. You can choose to restore to a different zone and even a network configuration. You can also choose to power on after recovery or remove tag association. After the pre-recovery checks, start a recovery. Go to the activity monitor to monitor the restore. After the restore is done, you can look at the details of the restore by clicking on the restore job. Validate that your VM instance has been restored on the Azure portal. And by clicking on the instance, you will see the state of the restored VM instance. Now let's look at the resiliency features of NetBackup powered by CloudScale technology. On the Azure portal, I will navigate to the NetBackup cluster and from the Workloads and Pods tab, I will locate the Media Server pod and then delete it. You will see that the Media Server pod will go to a terminating state. Switching to the NetBackup Web UI, you will see that the Media Server is visibly down. Back at the Azure portal, wait for the Media Server to restart and be in a running state. And then on the NetBackup Web UI, confirm that the media server is back online. The final feature I will demonstrate is the scalability of NetBackup CloudScale. The primary, the media, the storage server, and snapshot manager servers can be scaled up to meet the demands of the workload. To scale up the media server, go to the node pools and select the media server pools and increase the node count. Then go to the private DNS zone and add a record for the media server to be added. Add the name and the IP address. Go back to the NetBackup cluster. Connect to the NetBackup cluster using the Cloud Shell. Connect by cutting and pasting the commands on the right screen, which sets the account subscription and sets the context. After we are in the NetBackup cluster context, run kubectl commands to get the NetBackup namespace and environment. Run kubectl edit 
to modify the Net Backup environment. Then search for the Media Server keyword and add the new Media Server fully qualified domain name and IP address to the environment. Scroll down and increase the replicas by one. Next, save the environment. From the kubectl get nodes command, you can see only two media servers are currently running. After the environment has been edited and saved, run kubectl get pods command to observe the media server being added. You can also observe it through the portal. By going to the media server being added, you can see the events that is occurring. For example, attaching a volume, pulling the image from the repository, and then creating and starting the media server container. Go back to the cloud shell and run kubectl get nodes and see that there are now three media servers running. Switch to the Net Backup Web UI and validate that there are three media servers running. Now let's expand the storage server and the Azure portal. Click on the storage server node pools and then increase the storage server node pool count by one. And then click on the private DNS zones and add a record in the private DNS for the storage server being added. Assign a name and IP address for the storage server. Go to the Net Backup cluster and connect to the cloud shell by copying and pasting the commands on right-hand side. These commands set the account subscription and the cluster context. After we are in a Net Backup cluster context, run kubectl commands to get the Net Backup namespace and environment. Run kubectl edit to modify the Net Backup environment. Search for the MSDP scale-out keyword and add the new storage server fully qualified domain name an IP address to the environment. Scroll down and increase the replicas by one. Then save the environment. From the kubectl get node command, you can see only four storage servers are currently running. Run the kubectl get pods command to observe the storage server being added. You can also observe it through the portal. By clicking on the storage server being added, you can see the events that are occurring. For example, attaching a volume, pulling the image from the repository, and then creating and starting the storage server container. Now you can see that the newly added storage server is up and running. On the Net Backup Web UI, click on the Refresh button and validate that the storage server has increased. Thank you for watching this demo of NetBackup powered by CloudScale technology.